In this video, we're going to be going and showing you how to make a stop block for the Eclipse honing uh, jig that you can pick up off from Amazon or pretty much anywhere for like 10, 15 bucks. So pretty good deal for this and uh, makes a great little companion for sharpening your chisels and your plain irons. This visco we'll be showing you to do is uh, what you need materials wise and basically pretty much how it goes together. It's actually very simple. So uh, this will be a great little jig and uh, we'll also give you some information on uh, how you can build your own as far as the measurements we're gonna be using during the video. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get to making this jig. Okay, so to make a stop block for measuring out what you're gonna be using with your clip style jig, uh, the main things you need to know are the general sizing. So we're going to be supplying a uh, link to this PDF. This is actually made by uh, Lil Nielsen, uh, who makes actually a really, really nice version of these that's super expensive in comparison to these cheapos. But these cheapos actually do just fine. But uh, basically, we're going to be using the measurements that they have on there. Uh, they've got four basic measurements. I'm sorry, five basic measurements. 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 degrees. Um, for the most part, you're probably never really gonna go above 35, but, you know, to each his own. Uh, that being said, all we need for this really is a couple of pieces of scrap wood that we have here, either a uh, marking knife or a pencil, and we'll explain why that is here in just a little bit, and then some type of ruler, depending upon how scientific you wanna be, you could just use your basic ruler like this, or you could get really fancy and use one of these little guys, uh, which of course is the uh, Incro Roller. So uh, always a nice little toy to have. Uh, but uh, first things first, all we need to do is we got a, a strip here of some cut off uh, plywood. It's like half inch, doesn't really matter. As long as it's uh, taller than your blade, because your blade's gonna be coming in like this. That's all that really matters. So in this case, we're just gonna cut some strips off from this. Uh, again, no specific size. Just again, as long as it's uh, thicker than the blade and it's uh, you know, thicker this way than the blade, then you're pretty much good to go. So we're gonna cut that down real quick and uh, then we're gonna start attaching them here to our board and we'll show you how that's done. Okay, so we're gonna go and cut down our strips at about one inch. Um, like I said before, it really doesn't matter exactly how long these are. It just really matters more that, um, you know, you have a decent surface for the actual plain iron or the chisel to land on. So we'll go ahead and knock this out here real quick. All right. So we have our uh, five pieces that we need for our five different measurements. So now we're going to go back over to the board. Uh, measure out the different five measurements on the board. And then we're just pretty much gonna glue and tack nail these right on the board. Now you could use screws if you want, but we're just gonna tack nail it because, well, we have the tack nailer, so why not? So let's go and get to that. All right, so we're back over here. Just gonna go ahead and uh, get our measurements out. So I'm gonna take out our uh, trusty copy of our PDF that we have and uh, kind of go along the different sizes. So uh, let's see here. So first is gonna be two and one eighths, which on here is gonna be kind of difficult because, well, this is not an eighths. So we'll use this for the time being. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this lined up all nice and pretty. What you can do is actually use one of these blocks here this way you can make sure your ruler is perfectly aligned. And since this one uses 16 obviously uh, 1 8 is going to be 2 16 So that's going to be right here. So let's go ahead and make a little line. And this will be for our 25 degree angle. Just use another block here. And very carefully, come in here like this. And then we'll just go 
right along. Okay, perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of glue on the back here and then we'll just line it right up with the line and then boom, we've got our 25 degree angle, which works out really, really well. So we'll go ahead and set up the rest of these and then uh, we'll uh, show the gluing and everything and get that rock and rolling. Okay, so I got all the marks drawn out here. So we're actually gonna only do four. Realistically, we don't really need the 45. So we're just gonna go up to 40 on here. Just so that way we have a uh, quick, easy guide here. Uh, realistically, you probably use 20, 20, uh, 25, 30, and 35 more than you do anything else. 40 and 45, not really used very much on most sharpening. So we're just gonna kind of not worry about those ones. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and glue our little guys here onto the board. So it'd be pretty simple to do. Okay, so after we get on there, I'm gonna try to avoid squeeze out in this specific case, which normally as woodworkers we normally thrive for, but squeeze out here could leave to inaccurate uh, blade adjustments later. So try to do as little squeeze out as possible. Get that down real nice and thin. Just hold that down. There we go. Cool. And that isn't going anywhere. Now we're just going to go ahead and mark uh, 25 on here. I'm probably going to put some actual labels on here later on to make this look a little bit nicer, but just for a quick run through. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, uh, the next time that you want to line up your jig, you're just going to go and just line it right up and do the thing. And we'll show how that's done. Okay, so now that we got this clamp down to the counter, this will keep it from sliding while we're trying to do our adjustments. We're going to find out exactly like where we need uh, to be in order to be able to kind of get everything rocking and rolling. So let's say I want to do like a 35 degree angle on my uh, jig here. So we're going to go ahead and just put that in there. And just tighten that down. Boom. Now we're ready for a 35 degree uh, cut on our on our chisel. But let's say we needed like a 30 degree angle for whatever reason. Then we can go like this. Boom. We're already set to go. Quick, easy, and ready to cut. So this way we have everything nice and sharp at the end of the day. And we don't have to spend a lot of time on sharpening because, well, sharpening is the suckiest part of woodworking. All right, well, that's basically the gist of how this all works and the reason why you'd want to go and build this jig to work with this jig. So jig on jig action there. Kind of getting jiggy with it. Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, uh, feel free to comment down below. Uh, let us know what you think of these types of videos and uh, what you'd like to see next. Uh, but in the meantime, stay safe in the shop.